nigga kill over a bitch but let a rat keep his life. Gray sweater. Okay. Um, I want to pick up where the state left off and ask you a question about that visual that's on the screen. Yep. Uh, you circled that and you said that looks like an infinity. Is that right? Correct. Right. All right. Tell me from the uh, photograph that you're looking at right there, who's driving that infinity on that date, January 10th, 2015? Can't answer that. You can't tell, can you? No. There's no way that you can look at that photograph and tell anyone here <laughs> that Jeffrey Williams or anyone else is driving that vehicle at that moment, can you? No. You were working at uh, Hertz in around the time we're talking about, January the uh, 10th of, well, really in this case, January the 7th yes. of 2015, true? Correct. You were the director of operations? Operations, yes. Okay. Were you actually working on the day of January the 7th, 2015? Can't if you answer don't. that. Okay. You, you, don't, you don't know for sure. What day was it? Oh, if, if you don't know, I don't know. All right. But let me ask you this. Do you have a recollection? Can you say to this jury, yes, I was working that day, or no, I was not working that day? Objection. I'll answer you. I'll A standing objection. All right. Fair to say you don't know. Objection. Same objection. Same objection. All right. Um, do you know what individuals were actually working at the location on that particular day? So the 400 employees? Yes. I can tell you. You don't know? No. All right. Um, we talked a little bit, well, a good bit, actually, about the check-in date and the check-out date. Yes. I want to ask you some questions about the actual location, mm -hmm. right? Um, on the inside, where an individual would go in to rent a car, are there cameras? And we're talking about back in 2015. Can't answer that. Okay. I'm not sure. Can't remember. What about um, the checkout, the drive-out location that we talked about where folks uh, you would say have to stop before they leave with a, with a vehicle. Cameras there? 15? Yes. Can't answer that. Okay. I, I just can't, you know, I don't want to say, you know, it's always been cameras, but I knew there was a period of time when it didn't work. Okay. Yeah, because a new system came in shortly after that, I remember. When you say there have always been cameras, would mm -hmm. that include 2015? Yeah. When I came back to Atlanta, there were cameras. Okay. Because uh, this was um, a new facility. Okay. Um, but I don't, I can't recall if they were working or not. Okay. Or, for example, where they might have been located at the facility. I knew where every camera was located. Okay. Um, so there was, um, and it, there was a lightning storm sometime back then. Because that's what prompted us to get a new system. So I just, like I say, I just can't recall if the camera was up and running then or not. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we know from what you've, test what you've testified to is that um, there are policies and procedures with Hertz, right? Yes. There are policies in regards to um, someone renting a vehicle, true? Correct. There are policies in regards to someone um, being an additional authorized operator. Yes. Now, um, Hertz's policy is that if someone, if I rent a vehicle, in order for someone else to drive it, I should put them down as an authorized or additional authorized operator. True? You are correct. Now, would it be fair to say that that doesn't always happen? Correct. And in fact, you know from the amount of time that you worked at Hertz that people rent vehicles all the time, and let other people drive the car. That's true. All right. Now, that's, that's a discrepancy that the renter may have with Hertz, mm -hmm. all right? But that just says that there may be other people driving the vehicle that Hertz doesn't know about because they're not down on a contract as an additional authorized driver. You're correct. And so you asked a lot of questions about the VIN, the VIN number mm -hmm. of the, uh, let's start with the infinity. Do you, you remember the questions about the infinity with the sunroof? 
Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. You asked a lot of questions about the infinity with the sunroof, about the VIN of that number of that car. Remember that? Yes. About the date of birth of the person who was listed as the renter, right? Yes. About the driver's license number of the person who rented the who was the uh, renter of the vehicle, right? About the uh, credit card number of the person who was listed as the renter of the vehicle, right? Yes. Is there anything? Oh, and whether or not that vehicle has a sunroof. Remember that? Yes. All right. Is there anything about any of those items that tells you who was driving the rented Infinity on January the 8th of 2015? No. Is there anything about any of those items that you were asked about that tells you that you can definitively say to this jury, I know who was driving the vehicle on January the 9th of 2015? No. Same thing for 2010, I presume. No. All right. January 10th? No. January 11th? No. All right. The vehicle, and we're talking about the, um, the infinity with the sunroof, mm -hmm. right? As far as you know from the documents, was returned on January the 11th. Is that right? That is correct. Do you have any idea, because you weren't there, you can't say with any certainty that you were physically there on January the 11th, right? Objection. Ask the answer, girl. I stand you, That's a different, that's fine. Um, do, do you know mm -hmm. where Jeffrey Lamar Williams was located? In what state he was located on January the 11th of 2015? Do you know? No. Do you know who was sitting behind the, 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 the steering wheel of that Infinity when it was returned back to Hertz on January the 11th of 2015? No. One of the, um, one of the <clears throat> things that you asked about had to do with the return date, return time. Remember those questions? Yes. Um, and I think we were able to determine from the documents, correct me if I'm wrong, that we have a Corvette that was rented on the 2nd huh? of January. Mm -hmm. True? Correct. That Corvette came back, and that Corvette was rented in the name of Jeffrey Williams, right? Correct. That Corvette came back to Hertz on January the 7th of 2015, right? Correct. And we saw what appeared to be a check-in or I guess it was check-out date, the date of return, date and time of return, mm -hmm. right? Now, when that vehicle comes back and there is that time, that return time stamped on the document we looked at, right. does that time indicate when the vehicle drives onto the lot, when it's finished being prepped by the workers, when the person walks out with the with the Ticket, what, what, what does that time actually represent? Objection. I stand this for you. You can break that down. Mr. Sure. Mr. Adams. Thank you, Judge. Th that, that time stamp that shows the, I think it says checkout date, right? Yes. Or checkout time. Check, check out or check in. All right. When the person drops the car off. Check in. All right, check in. What time, what does that time actually refer to? That would be um, when I hit print and I hand you a receipt. Okay. So the car may have been there for a while, but the process of checking in uh, is over and it's listed on that receipt when you hit print. I'm going to check right here because it calls for facts, not in evidence. I stand in objection. Okay. The, um, the Corvette comes back on the 7th, right? Yes. And then there's an Infinity that's rented on the 7th as well. Yes. Around the same time. Um, were you, would you have been the recipient, strike that, do you know when, um, if at all, the Atlanta Police Department reached out to Hertz in regards to getting any documents surrounding these rentals? No. I, no. You wouldn't have been a person? No. Okay. Mm -mm. Was, did anyone contact you in 2015 to get any documents relative to these rentals? 
Yes. Me personally? Yes. No. It would have went to a corporate uh, corporate security manager. Who's that person? Back then it was Jerry Smith. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Jerry Smith would have been the person who interacted with law enforcement. Yes. So if I can, um, let's say law enforcement approached me directly. Uh -huh. I would refer them to Jerry Smith. Okay. So he would have to approve any documents um, to be given to law enforcement. Do you have a recollection of that happening sometime in 2016? This one particular? Yes. And I hate to say it, but yeah, this was two to three times a week you would get um, some type of subpoena from law enforcement about a vehicle. Yeah. And this was, of course, back in 2015, which by my um, count, talk about nine years ago. Yes. Okay. Were you ever uh, subpoenaed? to either provide documents or come to court anytime in 2015, sir. I'm an object, Your Honor, on the basis of relevance. I'm gonna rule the objection. Sir? To come to court? Sure. Me personally? Yes. No. What about 2016? No. Same objection, Your Honor. Same ruling, all ruled. No, to come to court? Yes, sir. No, okay. I've never been subpoenaed to come to court, no. Okay. Back in um, 2015, did you know Jeffrey Williams? No. Did you ever met him? Personally? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, hold on. Can I go back? Sure. I knew, I, I know who the, the, the rap name is. I oh. didn't know Jeffrey Williams, so no. Young By that name. I knew Young Thug, yes. Okay. When you say you knew, you, you knew who, who that person, who that entity was? Yes. Um, you never met him personally? No. Okay. Lifestyle had just dropped. Everybody knew that song. Oh. <laughs> Banger. Oh. And you liked it, right? I'll just <laughs> Which one? Oh, rule. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, do you have any records? of um, Jeffrey Williams ever renting a Pontiac from Hertz? Objection, Your Honor. Facts not known. A standing objection. When the... Um, when the Infinity came back to Hertz, uh, any indication that it had any, any uh, bullet holes or bullet defects in it? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. Can't answer that one. All right. <laughs> Sounds like you did not have a lot of personal dealings with the rental of either one of these two vehicles that we're, that we're talking about, right? Objection, counsel, testimony. I stand objection. Are you aware of whether or not anyone with um, Mr. Williams is, anyone who worked with Mr. Williams ever made reservations for vehicles? Uh, on his behalf? Not aware. You aware of anyone ever picking up a vehicle for Mr. Williams on his behalf? On his behalf? Yes. No. You wouldn't have any personal knowledge of that because you would not have been the person dealing with folks picking up vehicles. Is that right? Yeah, I'll stand the objection. Oh, you were, um, so there was a, a picture, of, I guess a piece of a document put up on the screen earlier um, where you testified about the mileage of the vehicle going out and coming back in. And you were able to determine from that how many miles the vehicle had been driven while it was out of Hertz's prop, uh, possession, right? Yes. Right. And, and it would be fair to say that that tells you how many miles the car was driven. It doesn't tell you who drove.